Hello, today we will talk about glucose tolerance test. What is this test? Why is it done? How is it done? About this, some basic information I shall give you. What is glucose tolerance test? This test measures the ability of the body to handle a given amount of glucose which is given to it in a fasting state. What are the uses of glucose tolerance test? The main use of this test is in detecting gestational diabetes. It is a gold standard for its diagnosis. Apart from this, it can differentiate between a pre-diabetic and a diabetic patient. How is this test done? For this test, the patient has to arrive in the lab in a fasting state. At least 8 hours fasting is required. The patient can have plain water but no other beverage should be taken. After that, a fasting sample is withdrawn. Then, a patient is given a given amount of glucose depending upon the weight of the patient. For a standard 60 kg weight patient, 75 grams of glucose is given. After that, the samples are collected at 1 hour and 2 hour. Is there any special instruction that is given before the test? As I have mentioned, the patient should come for the test in a fasting state, at least 8 hours fasting is required. For detecting gestational diabetes, this test should be performed between 24 to 28 weeks of gestation. For other patients, it can be done at any time. If the patient is on medication like steroids, beta blockers, etc., these should be stopped for at least 2 days before the test. Is this test painful? As a blood sample is required for this test, usually some pain is felt while withdrawing the sample. How is this test interpreted? For diabetic patients, usually fasting blood glucose is more than 125 mg per deciliter of blood. After 2 hours, the blood sample shows a glucose level of more than 200 mg per deciliter. For gestational diabetes, the fasting blood glucose level is more than 92 mg per deciliter. At 1 hour, the blood glucose levels are more than 180 mg per deciliter and after 2 hours, the blood glucose levels are more than 153 mg per deciliter.